Gibbs, the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. A short kick taken at the 18. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Receiver in motion right. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And some room to maneuver. Cordero Patterson. And they do finally get him at the 12. A huge play there right off the bat. And even 60 yards for him on the ground. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On first down, going back to Patterson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 70 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. On second and inches, Vic. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. O.J. Howard, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. But three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game, and they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And Hester content to hold on to this one and bring it out to the 25. down Allen that's caught by the big tight end OJ Howard and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down defense gets up a touchdown the opening drive offense you gotta want to get out there and get those points back right now and that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start here's Allen on first and 10 looking left side and he's got a man that's Hall From the 38, Allen flush to his right. And he finds Howard complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. But we know that he can get first downs with his arm and his legs, Charles. And there when he gets outside of the pocket, the defense has to account for both. And he's able to complete it for the first. And he's very comfortable outside of the pocket. Some quarterbacks, that's not their thing for him. That seems to be the number one asset to his game. Gets out into the open field. Things seem to break down the secondary a little bit, and he picks out the right target. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. Out to the left there and complete to Howard. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Allen going to try and throw on third down. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by the former Eagle, Brian Dawkins. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown on a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Vick's throw caught there by Wallace. Finding space at the 40. Down the left sideline. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Michael Vick. In the dark, and I keep getting stronger. My limits the sky. I do the impossible, impossible. Shine if I want to. I win every time if I want to. The world mine if I want to. Make the world mine, cause I want to. Hey, I pull the sword out the border, walk a floor full of cobras. Go to war with you all, we can brawl to the toe. I can tighten loops in my lace and make lightning lose in a race. I make fire cool and I come back from the triangle in Bermuda. I can suit up, live in the moon up, working and outsmarting computers. I can outswim all the tuna, and that's what I the school yeah. So in the laws of nature, I'm breaking the rules. Only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. Hey, I can make time traveling a surprise. Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. Look up and beam to the stars so you can turn off the lights. I come alive in the dark. And I keep getting stronger. Tonight I hunt with the pride. You can't take my pride away. I can sing with the birds in the trees in the morning. Or all like the storms way over the ocean. My limb is the sky. I do the impossible, impossible. Shine if I want to. I win every time if I want to. The world mine if I want to. Make the world mine cause I want to. Even on the days when I'm late as ever, my time and it's right. Even in the darkest moments, stay close. I'm that shine in the light. I can make an earthquake nervous. I can make the sun wear a visor. I can make a wise owl see me as a daily advisor. I'm that cool shade, peaceful night. It's still my breath is a storm, I bet. I can make the thunder clap when I perform. It's just that in the laws of nature, I'm breaking the rules. Only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. Hey, I can make time travel a surprise. Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. I make the moon blue. I'm making pigs fly. Now I move mountains. I put a beat in the heart of a crash test dummy. I'm more so astounded. Yeah. Look up and beam to the stars so you can turn off the lights.
No post office, we stamp in time. Took a slice out of the big apple, made apple pies. Family size, leather bombers and Nike Sakai's. Dangerous corners, you better pray that tomorrow arrives. Rap, sugar, Ray Roberts, and nothing sweet. Y'all too out of shape to even box with me. Heavyweight, I know my way around the ring. Just like Shorty, know a way around the storm. Making hits with hit boy, only gotta do is hit record. Record breaking news, had to show up just to fill a void. Confused boy, little boys, y'all better keep your poise. Leave me out of the weasel. Be cool when you see me, I'm hot at all that rap demon. The hood know you, so we don't buy or believe in it. Locked in on the instrumental, I took back the key to this. Uh, run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I would have proud the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Me, Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. What I'm saying, the top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? Uh, I would have proud the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Me, Joe Black. What I'm saying, people saying what's already been said. Predictions I don't listen, it's already in my head, no funny. Your most hungry place, I was past that in 28. Underground tapes, as my ass cap and publishing states. As we slide in the G ride, I've been getting criticized. It's keeping me energized. Create with a business mind, I'm from where killers reside. A wild hood only knew goons since my childhood. Say anything in their raps, cause it sound good. Don't even mean what they say, horrible outlook. Y'all ain't really. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Fields it right around the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Start on the ground here on first down. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Touchdown! Big play there, 79 yards. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now Patterson to start the drive. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On play action, Vic. And he's got the veteran here. It's Mike Wallace. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. well his first pass attempt of the game, Charles, and the pass rush was right there to hit him. But no fear. He delivered an accurate ball. Nice catch. And you never want to see your quarterback getting hit. But it also sends a message to the rest of the team when he's able to take that shot and still deliver downfield. Showing a little toughness, and the team rallies around him. This could really help them on their drive. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. The first carry now. This is Johnson. And he'll get about two there to the 36. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback land on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Play action now. Vic out to his left. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Hall of Famer, John Lynch. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. <laughs> True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll send Moss in motion right. Flushed out right. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half with the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Rodgers going to go on fourth down. Being chased out left. Airs it out toward the corner of the end zone. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Raiders are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. So here's Vic following the interception. Going long here for Wallace. He rifles one that's intercepted. Deion Sanders, the Hall of Famer, with a pick. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. They'll go right back to the ground with Falk. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. They'll give to Falk up the middle. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 
It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Now a give inside for Falk. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On the handoff, this is Falk. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. They'll check it off to Falk, complete. Touchdown! Marshall Falk from eight yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, we know he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time, Charles, they've targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design, too, because they kept him in the backfield, made the defense think run first before they swung him out of there. And you're right, with his hands, they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more. Gano the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Here's Patterson again. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Jones now in motion left. First down, Vic. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. Jones will come now in motion right. It's a play fake. Now Vic. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Vic operating on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. It goes play action. They'll roll him out right. That's complete to Christian Okoye. 
And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Here's Michael Vick. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. Touchdown, Raiders. O.J. Howard. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Raiders have cut it back within a score. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. following the touchdown here to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, Timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now it's Rodgers. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Three yards remain for second down. Now Rodgers. Got a man. It's Randy Moss. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Rodgers to throw once more. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by the safety, D'Angelo Hall. And his guy 
Jazz have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive, now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Open man left side is Wallace complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. Gano's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action pulls it in at the 13 and he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20 the Raider offense set to get this drive started and they trail here to begin the second half what's going to be a key for them to get back in the game I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. Vic in trouble, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. They'll set a receiver in motion to the right. To try again after the sack. Vic going long here for Wallace. It got his man complete. It's a big play there for Vegas. 53 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zoom and pass that number there. The first down carry here for Johnson. Oh, able to avoid him. Has some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there's another first down run right there. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. First and ten, it's Patterson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. In motion right is Jones. They try the left side with Johnson. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? On third down, Vic. Over the middle, he 
gets it to Patterson. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Vic to throw on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And as a result, possession switches hands. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And they'll get him down here at the 23. 41 yards on the ground for him so far. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. the give. Here's Falk. And he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now the seven-time pro bowler Marshall Falk. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And all the way in for the touchdown. A great play. That